Now then, tessellations. So, I know you're all saying, Wayne, we've just looked up tessellations on uh, on uh, Google and we can't do that. That's too, way too complicated. Well, it, it isn't. Uh, I've just asked for the definition of uh, tessellation and it says, a tessellation or tiling is when we cover a surface with a pattern of flat shapes so that there are no overlapping gaps. Now, I'll get rid of that. So, a square can be tessellated. So, because you put a square next to it, next to it, next to it, and you can fill up the whole space. You're not overlapping it, you're, uh, and there's no gaps. So that's a nice easy shape. We could do loads of squares. We've done that. I've done that. Uh, an equilateral triangle. So that's a triangle where all the sides are the same size. That's a tessellating shape. Um, what else is there? A circle is not a tessellating shape because they don't fit together. So if, because you would have a gap. Oh, I can do that. I can show you that. Because you have a gap in there. There's a gap there, look. All right, so that's not tessellating. Uh, I need the tape. <clears throat> right, so I'm gonna go to the uh, top camera and I'm gonna show you a, a really, really simple technique. Okay, so another another shape, by the way, is this. It's um, an oblong. It's not an oblong, it is an oblong, that's what I call them. That, it's a, a rectangle, that's the correct way to say it. So, we're gonna start with a rectangle. So let's, can we see that? Right in the middle there, yeah. Okay, so if I, you know, rectangles can all go together. We can fit them all together so there's no, there's no gaps. If you've cut them out nicely, which I, I haven't managed to do that very well, so a pencil what we're going to do is I'm going to make a fish out of this so it tessellates so a fish has kind of a pointy bit at the front so I'm going to cut I'm going to draw there and there so I'm going to cut those out now if I cut that out there Make sure I've got it the right way around because that, that matters. Because it's not exactly a, a proper triangle. Now, if I cut that out there, if I stick that onto the back here, like that, try and get it as good as you can. I'll just get a little piece of this tape and then I'm going to cut that one off. that so that's cut off there so that will fit onto that side I'll stick that one down now that's a tessellated image so let me show you so if I put that down there I'll put it Right in the middle, I'll put it there, look, so you can see it. So if I draw around there, like that. There we go. Now that will fit exactly into there because it's cut from the front. So it's got to fit in there. And then obviously, when that goes on the top, we don't have to put it straight up like that. We can put it across like that. Now, one of the things with Escher is when we was looking at it, nothing there to draw. There we go. When we was looking at it, a lot of his... Um, a lot of his pattern things was very stylized. So that means they don't exactly look exactly like 
the things that he was drawing. They've just got a, a basic idea of what it looks like. And we know what it is, even though it's not an exact photographic reference drawing. So there we have a tessellated image. Can we see it up there? Yeah, we can. Right. Which I kind of like that. If that was if that was col coloured in in all different ways, I think that would look really quite nice. But still doesn't look much like a fish, does it? So we need to cut out something from this side to put up there. So I think, I think we need a, uh, we need a fin. Does that work? Let's have a look and see if it does. So that, oh, has come adrift from there because we've stuck that on there. So we've just cut that from there, which means we have to put it up here, which fits, surprisingly, perfectly. So let's get a bit of tape. put that on there. So I'm going to leave it like that, I think. I think that's pretty good. I'll show you on this what it looks like. Uh, I'll do it with a pen so it stands out a little bit more. Which way around do we want it? I think that's good for the top. We'll have him that way around. There. So what I'm going to try and do now, instead of doing a fish, which looks more like a rabbit, I think, is I'm going to just go for a pattern and have it a little bit more, I'm going to use my smaller scissors, there we go. See where we end up. But the beauty of doing this is Cut yourself some squares, or cut yourself some rectangles, or even cut yourself some oblongs. Just get going, start sticking them together, and see where you end up. So there we have our just wacky shape and it's made a lovely little um, design.